Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Comic Book Burrito Extra Beef. My name's Darian. My name's Lennon. And happy New Year anniversary to the Comic Book Burrito. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, two years with you. Say, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I heard some resentment in that. Oh, you can probably say the same to me, too. <laughs> let's, let's, be, let's be fair here. Um, You're probably right. Yeah. Yeah, it, it doesn't even feel like two years to be honest with you. It just feels like a year at this point. <laughs> yeah, it. I mean, we put a lot of work into this, but it like doesn't seem like it. I don't know. It's hard to explain. But really, yeah. we have like the easiest job ever. We just talk. I talk, and you listen, and you add in your snippets sometimes. Yeah, uh, I'll say a little. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. Sure. <laughs> Next one. Well, extra beefs for him, I think, is I don't know because I, I, it was me running a news. Me say what's going on like the world of the news. I you want to talk about hell? I I'd mix them up. Robert Downey Jr. is having a baby, and Scarlett Johansson will be playing Iron Man in Iron Man Four. Like that's what I'd be saying on here. So I get I get wow. news mixed up and everything. So yeah. probably good that you lead with it rather than me. Yeah. Um. I mean, we did. We have literally done. A lot of stuff leading up to, I mean, like, what was our first big branch? I mean, extra beef, technically. The first thing we did was Zack Snyder's Justice League. Yes. Um, the yeah. fact that that's what it is. <laughs> that was our, was our, our hatred, our hatred for Zack Snyder and, and his films and his fans runs deep <laughs> into deep the in bones brain. of this podcast. That, was that our first? Yeah. Extra- Wow. Yeah, because at that time we were reviewing new Marvel movies on the actual episodes, which was a horrible idea. So, yeah, the time, oh, yeah, because I remember we had to defend the time slot too. Golly, I don't know how, how long we did that. I don't either. Um, but it was funny because our first extra beef, it was over. I mean, it had to be because I mean, we're talking about a four hour movie here. You know what? Our next extra beef should be us reacting to our very first episode. Oh, God. Or we can talk about what news came true and what turned out to not be true. Oh, or like first episode or yeah. first episode? first episode. All right, normally, be kind of fun. I don't know. We'll think about that. I, I, um, I, man, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I want to hear about. <laughs> I don't know if I want to hear my voice. God, God. Well, I have to, to hear my voice all the time when I edit these. Um, it's used to it. Used to it. Um, but what else? I mean, extra beef. Um, into the, into the Spider Verse or series on that. Um, the Arkham File season one and season two now. Yeah, um, well, I... season yeah season three coming soon. Um, not soon next year. Um, actually no, wait. When did but we no. end season three? That's season two. I mean, uh, was it this year? The Court of Owls. Yeah, so. but was it this year? It was this year. Oh, okay. Then we gotta wait till next year. Um, like, uh, yeah. Was it? I don't remember. No, it was this. Year. It was this year. Um. But yeah, that live stream, like first Game Awards stream, was last year. Got another one coming this year, um, and all kinds of stuff. We do, we got a lot going. A lot of gaming episodes, let's plays and stuff. Yeah, Jesus. And it doesn't even feel like we really do that much, because mm-hmm. I guess it's because it's. Yeah, I know we're supposed to get into a review here, but I mean, talk about this is important. Um, I guess it doesn't feel that way because. <laughs> What we what we're doing is fun. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because like I play video games on my own anyway, so why not just act like someone's there watching it with me and play? Oh yeah, exactly. I mean, me this is me as a kid. I mean, this is like my dream because yeah. I have really nobody around to talk about this stuff with. Even in high school, I did it. Like, I had a yeah. few people then, like. Yeah, you contacted me about doing this, and it was super fun. You know, I was like, definitely, you know. Yeah, and I think, um, I mean, personally, I think it's given a more bigger level of enjoyment to some of the movies. So, mm-hmm. like, knowing the stuff going into it, so you're literally like, oh my gosh, is this going to happen? Is this going to happen? Was this true? What's going on? Oh, like, yeah. to me, I feel like, I mean, because obviously, like, there's also some people that, be like, that don't want to know any of this stuff. Oh, yeah. News and everything. But um, uh, that's just me. I, but I think we just it's two years and it hasn't felt like two years because it's time. I guess time flies when you're having fun. Something like that. 
I, I'd say the excitement as well of watching a movie and then wondering what your friend, you know, what your friend thinks about. Because, I mean, that's the first time I'll, I'm like, I wonder what Darian's going to think about this. Uh, and then I'll come out, I mean, especially if a movie I absolutely hate, I pray. I'm like, I pray Darian doesn't like this. I come out of every but movie thinking Landon's going to say this sucks. I hope you like it because that way it gives us more more tension. Like, holy crap, you know. Yeah. I come like, out of every movie like, thinking Landon's going to say this sucked. So I, every time, I'm like, even Guardians 3, I was like, he didn't like it. You know, how you thought I didn't like it? Well, that's like my first thought of every movie because I'm just like used to you surprising me saying you don't like it. <laughs> there, I didn't like this. I know he did. <laughs> get, get ready. Um, but yeah, I mean, hey, we couldn't have done any of this without all of you guys. And granted, I mean, we're not at the biggest listener number. I mean, we our audience is there, spread throughout our the different areas that the podcast is on. But yeah, um. I mean, granted, it's, it's going to grow, right? We hit a thousand subscribers. That was insane. Hit a thousand views on an episode. I don't know. I don't know. That was that blew my mind. Yeah. Um. We just hey, it it we'll keep going. We have so much stuff, more stuff planned, more streams, live streams, uh, types of shows. We're just talking about a extra beef series we wanted to do before we started recording. Um. Yeah. Just a yeah. lot more coming. I mean, until you just came up with this cool extra beef idea of us reacting to our first episode, wouldn't that be something? Yeah. Uh, that, oh God. I would have to do it with, like, would you want to have the video up and us just, like, listen to it? Yeah, it would ha- It would probably be, I think, like, a live stream would actually be kind of fun. Yeah, that, that would be stream, extra beef. But, um, something like that. And I mean, there's all kinds of stuff coming. We got we're always thinking of new stuff, um, new ways to change up our dichotomy of the show. Um, I mean, obviously, you see now on your screen that there's a new format that just came this past episode, um, which is huge. So, I mean, it's a big difference. We're just always trying to go bigger and better, um, but while still staying true to what this show is, which is you're here to hear our thoughts on all of this stuff and to get excited for things with us. Yeah. And we thank you for that. So thank you for listening to us for two years. Um, still going strong. We'll see how many, we'll see how year three goes and we'll see. Will this be the year we crash and burn? Crash and burn. <laughs> We will find out. Landon offend too many Snyder fans on Twitter. Actually, I, f- I offend more Snyder fans than you do, I think. Landon, Landon gets canceled and Darian <laughs> upsets too many Snyder fans. Yeah, and I get uh, assassinated. Assassinated. Um, no, but um, thank you all so much for tuning in for the last two years, though. Um, And now, what better way to kick off um, the, I guess, second year with our very first animated, like full on animated movie, not like Into the Spider Verse Across or none of that, but like a DC animated movie. Mm-hmm. Never done one, never watched one until this. Oh, oh you've never <laughs> watched one. Wow, I have not. Uh, so I mean, I, I think you're missing out because that's like there's a not... lot on there. I saw a lot, and I was like, man, there's a lot. I mean, my, that's, like, that's like the best DC stuff, almost. I need to. I don't know. We'll see. We might watch some more of it on here. But um, I'll go ahead and say this. Here is our review: Batman Under the Red Hood. It's the highly requested one. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I know a lot of people are saying we should review it. Um, so here we are. I watched it a couple days ago. I know you've seen it probably countless times. Yeah, I, I rewatched it again. The day after you saw it, and I really, my opinion has not changed a bit, honest, honestly. Okay, so um, let me say this first and foremost, right? Jensen Ackles. Let me let me talk. Okay, this was the one thing going this movie that I knew about that he voiced Red Hood. Yeah, and I was I just love it. I was like, man, I love this. So I'm going to say flat out now, he will actually, actually might have been my second favorite part of the movie. Oh, really? 
Yeah. Um, but we'll get into that in a minute. What were you, I mean, do, do you remember your expectations going into it for the I, first time? I, I, I was excited because, I mean, this was this was the first animated Batman movie. Well, it, well actually, that's a lot. That's not the first because I watched um, Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. I don't know if you've ever seen that. Uh, I read the, well, I I read the book. I haven't seen the but, movie. So, but this was the first one I watched. I actually like watched the pay attention to rather than having like something on and just just kind of just doing my own thing. But I was all right. I remember this this maybe had a big impact with me because I've never heard of the story of like death in the family and all that. And I being like a kid seeing Robin die is very like you know a what oh my god you know seeing a joker beat six me months like, of therapy oh. exactly like maybe me like seven years seven to six years old seeing a joker beat rob with the crowbar you know and you know the opening really stood out to me and seeing the reveal i mean i don't know if we should even spoil it here um i mean i guess it's been out for a while so i guess it just yeah. came out 13 years ago Thirteen years ago, so I I saw it like right when it came out too. I've never seen it. I, don't, I can't. I until can't, the that see stuff, and you never saw it. There's a lot of stuff I haven't seen. There is a lot you haven't seen. You got to remember, I wasn't. I I couldn't. I didn't get into like huge. I mean, there I love super stuff, but like super super into it until Infinity War when that got that kick started everything. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. I do. I do have to keep my keep my keep that in mind. And well, I, it's also like, well. I watched most of the DC stuff actually, so maybe there's not an excuse. But I didn't watch any of the. Actually, you know what? Actually, I take that back. I watched Gotham Batman Gotham Knight when I was younger. I got it off Redbox. Yeah, I think it was I, remember Redbox. That, I remember that one being good too. I don't remember. Is that, it. The, that the one where the? I yeah, remember it was like kind of bloody. Is that where we have like the kids that tell like the different stories about Batman? Is that I think that so. one? I think so. That's what it sounds like. It's like different like animation styles, and one of them has yeah. like a, has like a cartoony. It's like an Adam West mm, version. Or maybe whatever. I don't know. I'd have to go back to that movie. So no, I think I've seen that actually. Now I think about it, I haven't seen anything else. Because the two most relevant ones with, that are sticking in my head is is obviously this one and Batman Year One. That, I, that was, was I don't know if I even want to watch. Well, I, I guess I'll watch. I didn't like the comic. I thought it was boring. The the comic the comic of what Batman Year One. Yeah, I thought it was boring. I never read the comic. I should though. Um, that's definitely it. Should be on a my list of to dos. Yeah. Uh, I I know. Um, I want a. Oh, also, Dark Knight uh, Returns. Part Never. One. I mean, I've read the book, but I haven't watched the 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 movie. Is, the part one's good. Part two's not that good, but part part one's really. See, good. I'm not like I'm not like oh, I want to watch all this Batman animated stuff. I'm more thinking like I want to watch like this um, I want to watch the Flashpoint Paradox animated movie. I'm like that sounds fun. Flash animated movie, Green Lantern. Like I'm going towards like Constantine. I saw that on Justice League Dark. I'm like I want to watch that, um, but I'm yeah. like. I don't know. The Batman stuff's not catching my attention, but I know like it's probably good. I don't know, but we I'll probably decide throughout this episode. But I guess let's go ahead and talk about um this thing. My expectations were kind of neutral because I didn't know what to expect. I mean, obviously I'm not the biggest animated fan. Like I, I can tolerate animated stuff. I get into the spiders cross spiders. I love that, but that's different because that feels like a comic book. Yeah. But um it looks like a comic book. Yeah. Um, but these there's just some I guess there's something about the animation style that sometimes kind of like is weird in the way like characters move around in this and like yeah. in the DC animated stuff but um, I mean I don't know like I said I'm neutral going into it I know the story kind of I didn't know I think they did it differently than it is in the books yeah but um, I mean how do you want to how do you want to go about doing this like well, I can read off of this um thing I got pulled up here actually if that would be better. Yeah, yeah, do that. Um, I know 
I'd say luckily they kind of. I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the reveal. Uh, I don't know. I think that's pretty. Well, the reveal the reveal kind of happened over time. It, it happens pretty quickly. Um, it it kind it kind of takes a minute of re- the I think reveal. This movie thing. should have been longer. I mean, it kind of no bible too quick. I mean, I, I'm not gonna say it, it feels like it's. I don't think it's. Been, you, you, I remember we were texting, and you were saying you felt it felt like kind of rushed. It did. I think it all. I think the whole reveal happened too slow, and there wasn't that much emotion to it. I. My, at least in my opinion, I mean, I think it's. I agree with you in some regards, but there's a part of me I think it it works perfectly fine. Like, is there a moment where I'm ever bored, or I've ever really found myself to, I mean, maybe like a bit like a like a slow down type of moment, um. But ne- I don't know. Ne- I don't know. I've never been like, oh my god, you know. Uh, so I mean, I really like this character because I mean, I think they're voiced excellently, and they, I I liked the it, some of the stuff they did. It made me laugh. Um, uh, but my favorite character was Black Mask. <laughs> No, okay, because I, I'm laughing because I was actually anticipating you saying Joker, because I think, um, oh God, what's his name? John DiMaggio. Uh, John DiMaggio, yeah. Uh, I think it actually does really good as the character, but no, it's I, Black I, Mask I for me. You say that. The you voice say actor was Mask. like, as like as he just Black like Mask. did it well. Yeah, as soon as you said Black Mask, I'm like, dude. Black Mask is funny in this movie. He was just punching all the dudes while he was getting. He's hilarious. <laughs> That's like loaded. He just kept punching, like knocking He's everyone. So out. Crazy. I know. He has this guy slimed up, going on a rant, just just bashing it back. Just boom, boom. He, each and every one of them. And that one guy, the like new guy or whatever, he comes in. He says, "Hey, don't worry. As long as you listen, or something like that." He said, "Everything will be fine." He punches him in the face. Yeah, <laughs> but and, oh, and then he like hires the Joker and all that, and who, who Joker voices kills all of them. Who voices I don't know. I, I think I was going to figure that out once I started reading. Because, um, because he is he. Again, I was anticipating you saying Joker. But as soon as you said Black Mask, I'm like, yeah, he is. Black hilarious. Mask is voiced by Wade Williams. Wade Williams, okay. Um, oh, he Wade Williams voiced Two Face in Batman: The Dark Knight Returns. Oh, uh, really? And he's also he's in, he's in a lot of TV shows. Hmm. Anyway, um. Here, but I'm gonna go ahead. I'll go ahead and get into this read it, and then we'll give our thoughts as I go through. Mm-hmm. All right. So, Batman Under the Red Hood is a 2010 American animated superhero action thriller direct to video film, produced by WB Animation and released by Warner Home Video. It is the eighth film of the DC Universe animated original movies. The writer Judd Winnick also wrote Under the Hood run in the monthly Batman comic the film is based on. The film was released on July 27th, 2010, and received highly positive reviews from critics who praise its plot, animation, and focus on storytelling. It's generally considered to be one of the best in the DC Universe animated original movies line. The film was also a commercial success, grossing over $12 million in home video sales. The two-disc special edition and Blu-ray also includes an animated short featuring Jonah Hex. An interactive short spiritual sequel-slash-film adaptation, Batman Death in the Family, was released on October 13th, 2020, 10 years after Red Hood. Huh. Yeah. Um, speaking of Jonah Hex, I saw that while I was going to get this movie, I saw that the Jonah Hex movie is on Max now, as long, as well as Steel, a Superman villain, Shaquille O'Neal plays. Oh, I know. oh yeah, Steel is on here. Yeah. Right, so, man. you know, it's all added to the extra beef list. Now. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal Steel. That's yep. so funny. They made. Uh, even back then, they were doing movies like that of like characters really nobody 
the mainstream audience wouldn't really know about. Yeah, and they still don't. <laughs> um, wait, I'm um. Should I get? I guess I could read the plot. Yeah. Um, Rachel Ghoul realizes his mistake in hiring the Joker to use him as a distraction while he destroys Europe's financial districts after learning that he's captured Jason Todd, the second Robin, Batman's partner. In Sarajevo, Bosnia, Joker brutally assaults Jason in an abandoned warehouse with a crowbar. Jason is locked in the warehouse with a bomb, which explodes and kills him before Batman arrives. Um, now, that's already kind of a change from the death in the family, because I don't think Rachel Ghoul had anything to do with that in the comics. I think yeah. it was just Joker. It was it was a story of Jason think believing he found his actual mother. Yeah, yeah. And trying to find out it was just an actress Joker hired to get him, or something like. I believe that's what what went on. It was, and, I think so. I have the book yeah, the signed by um the dude who wrote it. Um, I forgot his name. He was in. And, he, wrote, he created that. Was. Yeah, I also I think. The whole Jason Todd dying situation is the same thing with Gwen Stacy. Uh, they, fans voted on him to die because I don't think they liked him the same way. Like you know, I mean, not that fans voted with Gwen Stacy, but everybody, everybody like natural people, be like, oh well, you know, they like uh, everybody likes Robin, but it's like no, back then people didn't like Gwen Stacy, and people didn't like Jason Todd. They voted for him to die. Yeah. So, yeah, there was a call in ballot. Yeah. Oh, was it call in? Oh, okay, I thought it was mail in or something. Okay. Oh, it may have been mail. I thought it was call in, though, but I mean, it could be. I, right. I don't, it don't matter. Either way, it was a vote. Yeah. <laughs> People were calling or mailing saying, kill this kid. <laughs> and I was like, all right. And do you see so I'm like, hell yeah. All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll do it. <laughs> And um, I mean, I'm sure people were expecting of how he would die. They thought he'd just kill them all, but no, nah, he get beat with a crowbar. Jeez. Um. All right. This is here. Um. Five years later, in Gotham City, a mysterious vigilante called Red Hood assembles a meeting of the city's most prominent drug dealers. He announces a takeover of their drug trade, taking only forty percent of the profit while offering them protection from both black. Black Mask and Batman under punishment of death to anyone caught dealing drugs to children. Um, anti-hero. I mean, Red Hood's an anti-hero, right? Uh, I'd say starting out, he's pretty. No, he's, he's not really he's, a villain. He's more. He's more evil. More than, than like. I don't he's know. doing what Batman does, but he. He's killing people instead. He's going that extra. Yeah, I mean, I guess some people could, would consider him a good guy. Um, uh, only sometimes. Only like, sometimes. but I'm thinking like not this version of him, but like the Bat Family version. Uh, yeah. What do you think he? So, start out. Do you do you see him more of a good guy or, or a bad guy? Uh, I see him more as a bad guy, but he's also like doing good. He's trying to like stop drugs and also. I mean, it's kind of good, but like, is what he's doing is good. But he's not doing it in a good way. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's funny because like some people like I can kind of get by because he because he was trying to stop like drug dealers of getting like near like children and all that. For that they go, or does it say that in the movie? Or yeah. my like thing is yeah. So you know, I mean, part of me is all like you know, okay, yeah, I can get behind that. You know, uh, you know, yes, keep. You know, get, you know, get them, get away from children with drugs and all that. You know, that's that's a pretty good deed. But you know, is it really? I don't know what, what's the word I'm looking for. For you know, is is the way he's going about it right? Uh, yeah. But it, let's okay. I didn't want to ask this question because I don't know if I can answer the best because I was again I was a kid when this came out. And when I first time I saw it, is do you think the reveal of who Red Hood is? Um, is it pretty obvious? I, I I know they kind of reveal it somewhat early, but it, let's say let's say you were just a normal person, you didn't know anything about that. Would you have guessed like, oh, that's exactly as soon as you saw the figure of Red Hood, or would it have taken you? Mm, a minute? It would have. It, it would have happened very quickly. Um, okay. I'll explain why. This movie focuses so much on Jason Todd, and then they're like, "Who's this mysterious Red Hood?" I'm like, "Obviously, it's Jason Todd." I know yeah. how movies work. Yeah. Well, why did you show us that beginning part? 
yeah. or his things. You don't see uh, racial ghoul like even like you don't even see him like you see him a racial bit. Ghoul. Sorry, that see, that's wrong. what I thought you said. Totally wrong. I can't say it ever since you told me that, that's the way I want to say it. And, like not intentionally, but like it's just so it comes through now. <laughs> um, but like as I was saying, like I, I mean, I don't know. I was a kid, so I was really dumb. So I'm sorry, I can't really put my vote into it. Um, I know I was surprised. I was like. I was like, it's a Robin that's doing this? Because um, I, I was always like a big Robin fan. I don't know why. I just thought it was like way cooler than Batman sometimes. I did like seeing young Jason Todd doing some sort of like little boy jumping around. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, what, what, what do you think about that uh, that that Riddler appearance in there? Oh, I got hyped. No, I got hyped. <laughs> I was like, oh, let's go. Dude, like he get took out. Yeah, he get he took out by a by a boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, um, listen, you know Riddler's unlucky. <laughs> we did a whole episode yeah. about. <laughs> yeah, that right. <laughs> hey, it's not fair. You know, you know he he sucks. <laughs> he sucks, but you know, you know he's just not good at. You know, he that. doesn't have anything special about him. He's just <laughs> he's. You like you like. <laughs> Well, I, know, I swear you won't say it, but I know you like them green people. You it's like not because they're green. It's, it's just exactly you like Green Arrow. You like the Riddler. I like I like Green Arrow because of the like the character's personality. The character's cool. Well, yeah, wish... I don't like him because he shoots bows and arrows. Where it's green. You, you I like wish your like his beard. That's my. <laughs> you, you do anything to be Green Arrow? Get with Black Canary. I know that. I wish I was Green Arrow. I mean. <laughs> Hey, anyway, um, yes, um, where, where were we? We were, um, but yeah, I don't know. as a kid, it surprised me. But like, if you, I'd say, if you have, I don't know, five IQ, you could be able to tell, oh, this is exact, this is Jason, or this is that Robin we saw earlier in the film, yeah. Um, and, and there's still that part of me that was like, I wish there was a little bit more, and this could have been fixed by if it was longer, just a little bit more emotion to it. Like well, Batman, what, at least well, Batman showing more emotion because I don't feel like he showed any emotion. He's just like Jason. <laughs> okay. Oh, you talking about you talking about when he dies? Or are you talking about no, like, no? Um, uh, when he finds out, he finds out he's, as soon as he hears the he's voice, scr- he gets mad at one point. It, I thought it was yeah, mad when he goes to the grave. As a and, and, he, and he, see, he sees he has just a dummy, and he's. I, mean, I think it's a pretty normal Batman response, like him being like pissed off at himself. He's, he's like, I was careless. Yeah, careful. yeah. Uh, I like that. I like that part. But I feel like he didn't have enough. Like, I feel like he would have been more emotional, but he really wasn't. He just kind of was like normal Batman. Oh, well, I. My argument is he knew deep down that this is exactly Jason. But there's a part of him that just didn't want to admit it, or it was a part of him that was just still in like denial. And then, and that, I mean, I think I pretty, I mean, I don't, know, I think it kind of shows off pretty decently in that scene where he does the blood test, and you see, you know, it says like match with Robin and Red Hood. Well, that was when Alfred dropped the tray, right? That's what, yeah, and, and that's when Bruce c- comes to terms, like, yeah, okay. The you know, response like, when that I, happened was like, "Oh no, the lunch." The, 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 <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> Alfred, my sandwich. <laughs> maybe, maybe Bruce didn't notice. He would have shed some emotion there. He, um, but that was kind of that's the what I got out of it at least. Of like, okay, Bruce is he's in denial a bit about it. He, he expressing yeah. it, I feel like he is. But here. Um, I, I don't know. I, um, I think, like I said, the reveal, anyone could figure that out to me. Um, it's also like, I guess because I read the comics, I already knew it anyway. <laughs> yeah. So that may have had some. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if like a, if the, if you read the comics, it has a lot to, 
I mean, I'm sure it does. I can't imagine it not, but I don't know. I just think it's, I don't know. I don't really know how to word it here. Because, oh, man, I don't know. It's I, I feel very weird because I don't know how to describe it. Uh, it's like, why would, I don't know. I, I'm still on the fence of, I. it's somewhat obvious if you just, unaware of everything like this, but there's a part of me that's just like, oh, there's still there's still a pretty... Like, I feel like if I showed my girlfriend the movie, I don't, I, I don't know, having that Robin thing in the beginning kind of like is a red herring. That's why right. I feel like it should have been more emotional. Well, so even then, though, if it was more emotional, we could be like, oh, Batman's dealing with this trauma. Okay, this is like something he's still dealing with. Now, what's he doing now? And but I feel like, but that still wouldn't help because Red Hood would show up and be like, who is this guy? I'd be like, oh, it's Jason. Yeah, it's Jason. So. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. i tell you what, though. This is some of the best, like, AMA casting I've heard in a good while. Neil Patrick Harris as Nightwing is awesome. Oh, yeah, I was going to talk about him here in a second. Um, yeah, I, I, was, I was worried because he's not in the movie that long. He's in it for two scenes? I think so, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, he, he kind of steals the show. I mean, he's pretty cool. Um, Neil Patrick Harris, superhero, eight thing. I, I don't think, of, when I think of Neil Patrick Harris, I think of the music meister from Batman, the Brave and the Bold. Dude. Oh, <laughs> I, I, ooh, I need to watch that show again. I'll watch that one. It was like some people say, Clay, that's like the best Bat, like one of the best Batman shows out there. I mean, like, doesn't the first episode have Green Arrow in it? I think it does. Yeah, it's already a W. There you, go with, there you go with your green people. Well, it's, it's kind of a weird green arrow because it's got like red on them. He doesn't have red. The first episode is Blue Beetle, actually. Oh, okay. Well, when, whenever green, green Arrow shows up, I can't remember. He, he was tied to a cuckoo clock. Oh, well, no, no, no. So, okay. I remember. It is in the first episode, but it's like. Uh, how do I describe it? Yeah, here it is. The Green Arrow had red gloves, red arrows, red boots, and a red mask. It's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's not Green Arrow. It's, it's Red Arrow. He... No, because that's a different character. Red Arrow is what, an entirely different character? Red Arrow is a psychic. Arsenal. Red Arrow. Oh, okay. So, okay. I remember now. So, it is Blue Beetle, but in the beginning, it they have these things in the beginning of like, where they fight like clock, like and they fight clock king. Like the first episode is actually kind of cool. Uh, James Arnold Taylor. Wait, no, James Arnold Taylor play Blue Beetle. Play Green Arrow. Oh, huh. in the in that show, and Brave and the Bold. Huh. James Arnold sure. Taylor voiced Obi Wan, bro. And and what? In Clone well, Clone Wars. Oh, James Arnold Taylor. Dude, I'm thinking about... Oh my god, uh, he was literally... And he's Ratchet in the Ratchet and Clank movie. Yeah, that, that I knew. And okay, Leonardo was... in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2007 movie. Yeah, TMNT. I love that movie. That's, oh, a, that's crap, a, dude. one of these days. Uh, it's kind of awesome. What was I going to say? And he's Johnny yeah, was... Test. Oh my god. Okay, okay yeah. sorry. James Arnold Taylor's over there. Yeah. I, I don't know why. For some reason, I thought you were talking about... Um... <sighs> What's his name? Who, who's playing Craven the Hunter and plays Books Over? Oh, Aaron Taylor Johnson. And, 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 yeah, that's what I was thinking of. I'm just like, oh, man. Uh, when's he? I, saw, I was like, dang, he played Obi Wan General Taylor is the voice. Okay. Um, yeah. But I remember uh, the music my strips that's Brave and Bold. I had all the songs stuck in my head. I could recite every lyric. I need to. We should we should probably do an extra beef of season one because I heard that's like a really good Batman show. First season one extra beef we're doing is the boys. I don't know, yeah. Before we get around to that, Lord. Like, yeah, so- Gen V literally drops a trailer this month. Maybe it's tomorrow as we're recording. Who knows? Well, no, it would be a Comic Con. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. No, yeah, we can't. It's gonna be pretty quiet on the podcast here in the next few days. Uh. Because I mean, I'm sure a I mean, there's a lot of news right now, and we've we still have a few days left until we record. Yeah, I mean, I know um, we got a bit of Spider Man news, so I'm pretty pretty excited about that. Yeah. Um. Uh, 
But here, let's um keep going through the plot here. Oh yeah. Um uh, Batman stops an attempted theft of a shipment belonging to Black Mask, which is the advanced android Amazo. Okay, I was kinda I, I don't know if you've seen Amazo in anything else other than this. I but know. um I was hyped when I saw that because Amazo was an arrow a few times in Flash. He's literally the creation of um I can forget who he's made by, but he literally could just he's kind of like a super scroll or robot. Yeah. And um, that was, was kind of cool. It's a different design. He's like orange, and normally it's just like a big metal robot. Huh. Yeah, this thing uh, kind of uh... like an alien. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyway, Batman destroys Amazo with the help of Jason's predecessor, Dick Grayson, aka Nightwing, and discovers the thieves are working for Red Hood, who then kills them. He chases Red Hood to Ace Chemicals, where an explosion destroys the facility. Batman and Nightwing interrogate Joker at Arkham Asylum about Red Hood, but he denies involvement. Um, Joker, I, I gotta like reference Joker's old white outfit. Yeah, the Red Hood. Yeah, because he was the original Red Hood. Yeah, he was the original Red Hood. Um, I thought that was cool. Oh. Um, hey, I don't know. I, I think Joker was all right. I didn't think he was great. I just I, think it's I, like the voice is too like normal. I I love it. I don't know. I thought I think he's hilarious. Too. Uh, I don't think. I also think if like any Joker voice is different than Mark Hamill's, then I'm gonna judge it. Well, see, 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 you can't think like that. That like again, Mark Hamill is God tier. You know, I'll be the first to defend it any time. But oh, uh, I think what. What he get, what John DiMaggio gives, is perfect. All that, not perfect, but like it's good. Oh well, yeah, I like, like his, I like his laugh. I mean, yeah, I, I think he's hilarious. I don't know. Like, he, I didn't think he was a funny. I think he's hilarious. I don't know. Like, and <laughs> I, I don't know. I can't describe it because it's, I'm, it's not what he says is funny. It's more or less like the way he says it is funny. If that if that makes sense, um, <laughs> I, I'm gonna need a I need some not these guys because these guys are dead. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. That, 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 that was kind of funny. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Something about it was just got got me. Uh, that was and, so funny. I did yeah. like the also like the line where he was like, "Oh, it's a reunion here. Get a picture of me and him, and then me and you get a picture. We all three get a picture." And then one with the crowbar. <laughs> then one with the yeah. <laughs> See, like he's I don't know. I think he's just pretty. I think he's pretty funny too. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, again, so is Black Mask. Like was, uh, him as a side villain. I think it's hilarious. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, let's see. Oh, I love. That. There's not a character in this movie I don't like. Really, uh, I'm I, I'm just trying to think of what I just thought was annoying, or I just didn't really care for them. But I mean, I, I enjoyed everyone. Uh, uh, I, don't know, I, don't I, I think I don't know who those people were. The fearsome hand of whatever yeah, they were called those like a, robot people. Never seen them in like the comics at all. Yeah, it's kind of cool, but I, I don't know who they were. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know if they were, I mean, I guess, yes, it's, you know, I mean... I mean, look at the fear... They're called the Fearsome Hand of Four. Let's see. The Fearsome Hand of Four. Um, They don't have any comic book appearances. Huh. Okay. Weird. All right. Um, What happened? Where'd my... Oh. My whole like Google messed up for a second just then. Oh, just... Okay. Um but I guess we can continue on with this plot here. Uh, Black Mask puts a hit on Red Hood for Amazo's destruction. Batman and Nightwing prevent Red Hood from hijacking Black Mask's next weapon shipment. They chase Red Hood to a train station where he escapes after detonating a bomb, which injures Nightwing. Batman and Nightwing realize Red Hood is trained and has knowledge of Batman's tactics and gear. A review of audio footage of the chase reveals Red Hood knows Batman's secret identity. Um, that was cool. I like that reveal. Yeah, I mean, that that was oh god, 
Again, it's like another moment where I was just like, man, this movie's, this movie's pretty cool. <laughs> um, when, it, when I was like a kid, like, yeah, as a kid, it blows my mind. And I, I, I tried to make sure I wasn't being like nostalgia barred. Anyway, watch this movie because I used to, we talk about a movie I used to watch on loop. Uh, was this? I thought so this I mean, was your Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, uh, well, no, Spider Man 2 is my Willy Wonka. Oh, <laughs> if I wasn't watching any of Spider Man movies, I was watching this. Um, gotcha. and I really, just, I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll tell you at the end of the episode what I was just getting ready to say, but um, okay, interesting. So, um, yeah, I did really like that review, mm-hmm. that was a cool, that was a cool scene. Um, this is Batman recalls Jason performing the same maneuvers as Robin and that Jason grew more violent and bloodthirsty as he aged with Batman having to stop him many times from really killing criminals um, the fearsome hand of four lure Red out Red Hood nearly overpower him and so Batman helps incapacitate three of them and Red Hood kills the fourth horrifying Batman that was crazy he blew dudes oh yeah he, he, he literally he tases the guy's face so much it just explodes yeah it explodes on it's him. something out of the boys oh yeah it's out of the and it was like, and it's pretty cool to see like Batman like try to like generally help him, you know, uh, like help. Re- you know, he knows it's Robin. Oh, he doesn't really say nothing about it. At this point, he knows. Yeah, oh, yeah, he he knows. He's like, he's like, yeah, someone did. Here, let me help you. And then he's like, yeah, it's too late. It's too late for that. And well, greatest detective. And it's. I hate I hate I'll, I'll be honest, I hate when people say that line, and these so, you always were the world's greatest detective. <laughs> like, shut up. Yeah. See, I, well, I was saying it in the sense of like the penguin from the Batman. World's oh, yeah. greatest detective. <laughs> you say that it occurred to me. I was just like, oh, I, I really hate him. They say that in like Batman media. <laughs> it gets on my nerves. That's what he is though. That's what he is. I mean, he is though. So. Yeah, I can't really argue with that, can I? Yeah. Um. Yeah, Red Hood explains uh what he's doing. He's doing what Batman will not killing criminals who are not afraid. Batman analyzes a blood sample of Red Hood drawn from the battle, and it matches Jason's. What you talk about? And after finding Jason's corpus, his corpse is fake. He confronts Ra's al Ghul and demands to know the truth. Ra's explains that he felt responsible for Jason's death, and as a peace offering, swapped Jason's body for a fake and revived him in the Lazarus Pit. Following his resurrection, Jason was driven insane and escaped. See, the Lazarus Pit stuff is different. Like every piece of media that it's in, oh yeah, it's There's normal. Crazy. Sometimes it gives you powers when you get out, and then sometimes when you get out, you don't have a soul, and it's, so it's like sometimes you're just it, okay. <laughs> you, you don't understand, man. Comic books, it, it will never. It will There's probably no never. continuity. There's no continuity. You don't understand. And I. Uh, I don't know, I kind of like it, like in the Arrowverse and stuff, when they did it, like an Arrow, and Rachel Gould was in that, and they did the Lazarus Pit. When they brought people back, they didn't have a soul. When they came back, they were just like this mindless killing machine. Yeah. And then they had to, like, be, the soul had to be re, like, re-put, that's not a word, in a, their body. Yeah, to get it, get it back in a way. Yeah, they and they used a lot of, like, magic for that and stuff. Like Constantine was a big part of that in the show, but yeah. Um, I, mean, I don't really know why. I mean, I like it. I mean, I like it here. All right, you know, it involves. He's just kind of crazy. I mean, I mean, yeah. Imagine being brought back to life. It turns you crazy for a minute. You know. Um, oh, I mean, I, I don't mind it here. Uh, there, there is many. I can't really pick or choose. I don't like that. It gets people the version where it gives people powers. Yeah, I don't like that. I, I if I. I can't really pick which one's my favorite or which iteration I think just works better, but I know I don't like that one. Uh, definitely. Yeah. Well, it, it just seems like really dumb. It's like, it gives you, like, how does that give you power? It doesn't. I get, I don't know, because. Eh, yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like the idea of it giving people powers. It just, uh, it doesn't sit right with me. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I did. Well, I can't really say much about Rachel Ghoul. He was Rachel Ghoul. I can't. Yeah. yeah, I mean, pretty decent depiction of him in this movie. Yeah, he was played by um, uh, Jason Isaacs. 
Who plays <laughs> Batman in this movie, by the way? I meant to ask. Jason him. Isaacs has been in a lot of stuff. Lord. Oh, Ron, what? Okay, Jason Isaacs, who voiced Rachel Ghoul, played in movies like The Patriot, Black Hawk Down. He played Lucius Malfoy in the Harry Potter film series. He played Captain Hook and Peter Pan for 2003. He played, um, let's see, he's been he's been in all kinds of like war movies, and then he's been in um, a lot of TV shows. He was in he voiced a character in the first season of Avatar: The Last Airbender. He um, voice Billy Butcher in the animated series The Boys Presents Diabolical. Oh. Dang, he's just been a lot of stuff. He has been a lot of stuff. And he shows up for like two scenes. Oh, so perfect. Um, but yeah. Here, let's uh, continue on. Push through this. Um, Batman confronts Brace. Demands of the truth. No, I read that. After surviving the assassination attempt by Red Hood, Black Mask sets Joker free, tasking him with killing Red Hood. However, Joker instead abducts Black Mask and the drug dealers and plans to set them on fire. Red Hood appears and reveals his real target all along has been the Joker. Batman saves the hostages and Red Hood takes Joker. Red, okay, Red Hood brutally beats Joker in revenge for his own murder and confronts Batman. Mm-hmm. Um, and we kind of touched on all that. Yeah. Um, um so, I asked you earlier, do you know who, who voices Batman in this? Because I uh, Bruce Greenwood. Bruce Greenwood, okay. Yeah, I don't know what he's been in. Yeah, you know, he was a pretty 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 good Batman. Played in a decent he played in Star Trek People versus OJ Simpson. Um National Treasure, Book of Secrets, Kingsman, The Golden Circle, I Robot, Super Eight. I've seen that movie. It's pretty good. He also voiced Batman in Young Justice, Batman Gotham by Gaslight, and Batman Death in the Family. Oh, yeah. Which is... And he voices a character in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what, I do, I do, if there is one thing about this movie, I hate, I hate that. It's not extended, but like the pit, the make your movie thing, the Death in the Family, it's yeah. so, it's so stupid. I bought that thing and it was like an extended cut, not realizing what it was. Snyder cut. It, it's, <laughs> um, and it's a thing where you choose what happens. Oh, it's one of those. Yeah, you get like you know interactive things, and I was just like, "Oh my god, this is not <laughs> this is not what I wanted." And I mean, know, it's, it's like some outcomes are stupid. Like you have to pick if he lives or dies. Uh, then he turns into like, then he turns into like Red Robin. Then there's this whole thing of him taking care of Damien because of Bruce dying and, and all that. Uh-huh. I, I don't know. It was really, really dumb. <laughs> so if there's one thing about this movie I hate is that movie exists. I just something you remind you reminded me of something talking about that, and I just found it, and like holy crap, um. The DC Comics You Choose stories. In elementary school, they had these. And it was like I was hype. I was so excited every time I go to the library. I check. I'm trying to hope they had a new book. Um, they were like you choose path books, but they were ones like Bad about Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman, and like each one had different <laughs> villains in it. One had Mister Freeze. One had Riddler. Like I just now rediscovered these, and oh my god. So this was a this was about that was at our school. I don't remember. Yes, that. yes, they were called You Choose, and it was all like there's one for the Joker's dozen. They were like, okay, this is only going to make sense to me and you, but um, you remember there's like that door in the library that it came from like where the kindergarten classes were. There was yeah. like a door to the library, like in there, and like oh, right when you walk. Books. Yes. <laughs> oh, dude, I remember. Okay, I had these. I had these. I had. A, I got these a were things. so high. They got a Riddler one. I didn't even know about it. I, I, get, I remember. I got like a themed off of the animated series at that. Yeah. Yeah. This is. Yeah. Yeah. I remember these. Okay. And they ha- and they have others besides these. These are just Batman ones right now. Is what I'm looking at. But I, I remember Justice I, League and. I, I, sorry, I remember I used to read these. I don't remember it. Yeah, you cheat. I remember it being the animated series stuff. I was, I was about to tell you, I was like, you know, I saw like a, I read a 
bunch of Batman books that were animated series, and that was those. That's exactly what it was. Yeah, it. These were awesome. But you just reminded me of that, and I wanted to mention it because memories. Shout out to you, choose DC books. <laughs> yes, all Thanks. of them. They were so good. That's crazy. Yeah, I remember these. Oh my god. Uh, where were we? <laughs> um, oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I, I was talking about this extended edition in quotes that I. Hate. Um, but yeah, continuing on with the uh, ending. Oh yeah. Okay. So let me find it. Uh, during the fight, Red Hood removes his helmet, confirming he is Jason. We already knew that. Shocker. Um. The fight makes its way to the dilapidated building where Jason's keeping the Joker and ends with Jason holding Batman at gunpoint. That whole monologue was pretty good. Jensen Ackles did good in that one. Oh. This is young Jensen Ackles. This is like... Oh, yeah. Like, this is like season it. five of Supernatural, Jensen Ackles. Oh, yeah. Higher, voice is higher. Mm-hmm. I like it, man. I think he did really good. Yeah, and now we hope he plays Batman. I hope. He already voices Batman. I mean, come on. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Or if not, just get get him to play Red Hood in the movies. Hey, I'm okay with that too. Um, anyway, let's see here. Um, though he has forgiven Batman for not saving him, Jason's upset and angry that Joker's still alive after killing him. Batman admits he has thought constantly about torturing and killing the Joker, but will not, fearing he will not stop if he even kills once. Um, Jason tosses Batman a gun and gives him an ultimatum. He'll execute the Joker unless Batman shoots him. Batman refuses and drops the gun, causing Jason to shoot at him. He also throws a batarang, which jams Jason's pistol. When Jason pulls the trigger again, the gun is destroyed and his right hand gets mangled. Defeated, Jason sets off a time bomb and Batman subdues Joker before attempting to save Jason. The bomb explodes. Batman and Joker survive, but Jason's gone. Joker's return to Arkham and Black Mask is arrested for his involvement in the Joker's escape. At the Batcave, Alfred offers to remove the glass case display of Jason's Robin costume after everything that has happened. Bruce refuses, claiming it doesn't change anything. Final flashback shows Jason's first day as Robin, which he cer- cheerfully declares is the best day of his life. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I, love it. I, think it's, I think it's pretty a pretty good father and son story. Uh, I don't know. I love it. I, I still... Uh, it it kind of warms my heart uh, seeing this movie. Yeah. Because it's, like, it's a... I don't know. I like it. I don't know. Uh, so, I mean, wait, how did you feel about after watching this? Um, I, I, originally, I, I originally I thought it was all right. Mm. I didn't think it was bad at all. I didn't think it was great. Um, I talking more on it and like also having time to sit like sit with it. Um, yeah. I think it was good. Yeah, I just I, the. Pace, not pace. It was not pace, not pacing as much as like it. It didn't have the kick into some of the scenes that I wish it did. I think animated stuff is it's hundred percent possible to like get that emotion out of it. But I think yeah. it could have done that a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Just that, but I mean, I thought it's still good though. I, I have a rating. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, real quick, I, feel- I want to point out Riddler's voiced by Bruce Tim. Is he really? Yeah, you don't really hear him though. Uh, he just said, uh, like, does he even really say anything? I have no idea. <laughs> he makes like a ooh that sound when he gets, you know, knocked out. But I know Paul Dini. Uh, oh no, Bruce Tim worked on Green Lantern the animated series. It was an animated series of Green Lantern from twenty twelve to twenty thirteen. Oh, it's that three D animated one. Okay, I I'll, I'll tell you after we rate it. Um, all right, do you have your rating? Yes, okay. For me personally, I'm gonna give Batman or the Red Hood. Um, okay, I'm gonna give Batman or the Red Hood an eight out of ten. Eight, uh, not not for me. Uh, I don't know. I, this, I don't think it's perfect, but it, I don't know. For me, this is like it eight. would have been a nine for me, but it just kind of like this, this whole. And it needed a little bit more emotion to it. Yeah, I got you. Oh, yeah, and that's a big thing, especially with a thing like this. If you're not getting hit with the emotional stuff of it, then what's the point of watching it? You know, yeah, like uh, I'm just watching mindlessly. Yeah, 
I'm watching Bat. I'm, you know, I don't really feel nothing when Batman finds out, and that's a big, that's a big thing. If you're not feeling it, then it's just not, it's not going to yeah. work as, as it should. Uh, yeah. I feel, I feel it a bit. Um, uh, I think that all the Jason, all the flashback scenes are awesome. Uh, with Jason like being young and seeing like how violent he kind of got over Tom. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, and seeing, and the opening scene kind of gets me a bit. Not like not like teary eyed, but like, uh, what's the word? Uh, kind of intense. Like, holy crap, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, I remember. I mean, I. Again, I'm trying not to be like nostalgic here, but like when I, I mean, when I, being like a kid, not seeing this, seeing like Robin, again, be, be with a crowbar and. Whack, you know, in like a bomb. I mean, it's just crazy. And seeing Batman not be able to save him, save him. I mean, it's. I mean, it, blew, it blows your mind as a as a kid. Um, still, kind of gets me today with the fact, that just like I can't believe they were. You know, I can't. I mean, I thought for what they told with it. How long is this? Like an hour forty five minutes. It was. I think it was like an hour. It was seventy five minutes. From what an article I was reading, so um, which is an hour, an hour and fifteen, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think for doing an hour and fifteen, I did a pretty good job of uh, of telling this story here. Uh, I mean, at least I think so. Uh, I mean, I know you said you felt like you had a bit of pacing issues. Um, I wish it was longer. Wish it was longer. Or and <laughs> I wish that's what I got with that stupid death in the family <laughs> movie, but no. Uh, I, tried to, I, I, I was just almost very close to purchasing this Riddler you choose book, but I, I didn't. <laughs> We're gonna take me a review. You're like, I'm on, I'm on Amazon. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Have it be a good book, Lord. I can say this though. Um, I offer this. I would like to review more DC animated stuff. Oh yeah, that's a good thing. I there's so much more on there that I want to dive into. There's a lot I haven't even seen. Yeah, like we have stuff like I, I want to watch the Constantine movie. I want to see how good that is. Yeah, I like uh, see that. The Justice League I, Dark is on there. That's stuff. I mean, I don't know. There's stuff like that. There's a Green Arrow movie. I like to see All Star Superman. Yeah. Uh, um, I saw Justice League New Frontier is on there, which is supposedly what James Gunn's um, Justice League movie is based off of. Yeah. They have an animated movie of that. Yeah, definitely. We'll definitely do that just to get a basic idea. Um, yeah, I and mean, there's a lot. I mean, look, I can go on Max. Right now, watch a bunch of them. Yeah, yeah, I'm watching it right now on podcast. No, um, look, I can name them off, um, real quick while we have the time. I mean, this is Green Lantern First Flight. I don't know what this is. I mean, Justice League War, Justice League The Flashpoint Paradox, Justice League Dark, te- the, a lot of Teen Titans stuff, the Injustice movie, which anyway, um, Son of Batman, Legion of Superheroes, Justice League vs. Fatal Five. Suicide Squad, Justice League Crisis on Earth, Two Earths. Mm-hmm. I mean, Just Society, World War Two. That's the one I've been wanting to watch. Yeah, yeah. And they just have so much stuff. They have a new one that literally just dropped on here. That's, I mean, Batman, Do- the Doom that came to Gotham. Yeah. I um, mean, I'm. I mean, some B- DC anime stuff is like some of the best. Um, another one I watched that I really liked was Batman Superman Apocalypse. Is uh, I see that's oh, yeah, I see it. I'm looking at it. Really good, and that, it's a great like Supergirl story too. I love it. I love that movie too. Hmm. Justice League I, versus Teen Titans. I, I I've seen only thing mostly thing most thing I've seen is the Batman stuff. Uh, I haven't seen any Superman solo animated stuff besides um, Apocalypse. It's the only one I've seen. That was a TV movie, so. But yeah, I don't think a... Superman has his own. I don't think Superman even has his own anime movie. He does. Where? He has, he has All Star Superman. Where's that at? Oh, that's uh, it. Superman Man of Tomorrow is also one of them. Yeah, that's another one. There's one of Superman Brainiac, or I can't remember what it's called. It's, uh. It's just Green Lantern. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, it's a movie. Green Lantern stops. Oh, yeah, they have a lot. They have Green Lantern Beware My Power. Green Lantern, Emerald Knights. 
Yeah. Batman and Superman Battle of the Super Sons, which I don't like that's that not, comic book. Right. It's about like their kids. Yeah. Yeah, here's Justice League New Front New Frontier, yeah. Yeah, Superman Red Sun, Superman Unbound. Superman versus the Elite. I heard that movie is really good. Um, the Elite um have something to do with the Authority. I think. Superman Shazam, Return of Black Adam, The Death of Superman, Justice League: Gods and Monsters. I've seen, okay, I've seen Batman: Assault on Arkham. I forgot about that. The, the, the one Jeff- that's like supposedly connected to the Arkham games. Oh, I think you have uh, you have Doom. Uh, just Batman like, Gotham Knight. Reign of the Supermen. Yeah, just is, like Dick. I'm a little unsure what this is even about. What is Reign of the Supermen? And as authorities investigate the stolen body of Superman from his tomb, different Supermen start appearing. They got so many names. Yeah, yeah, you have a bunch of Superman anime and stuff. I don't think there's oh, really... The a- Death of Superman? Yeah. What? I, I want to like Doom. Because uh, that has that involves uh, Batman's files coming out of how to take down the Justice League. Oh, oh really? Yeah. I, uh, I was I was thinking of the description. Yeah, Vandal Savage uses stolen information from Batman's secret files to mastermind a plan to exterminate the Justice League. Oh, interesting. Yes, yeah, so I get. I guess his stuff gets leaked, and it's. Yeah, and then huh. you know, yeah, I chose to use it. Just like Christ right. too. Yeah. Okay. Um, Tim Connor voices Batman in this movie. Anyway, um Oh well. Uh, another one that's really good is Batman the Long Halloween. That's an anime movie? Yeah, I enjoyed that one a lot. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll have to Definitely check out some of those. You guys need to let us know what you want us to look at next because there's so much um, that we could look at. Obviously, it won't be the next extra beef. It'll be a little bit, uh, probably maybe a couple weeks. But um, next is the boys, season one. Finally, we're getting into that. It'll be a uh, what PG thirteen episode of the Combo Burrito. <laughs> yes. Uh, um, low points. Like, yeah. I don't know, there's like a lot of stuff we got to talk about. It just happens. It's just like uh, yeah. Yeah, we can't not talk about it. Um, So, yeah, we'll be talking about that next week. So thank you all so much for joining us for this one. And thank you all so much for two years of the Comic Book Burrito. Um, We'll celebrate officially on our first episode after two years, which will be um, dropping on Sunday and Monday. And with that, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Yeah.